Hello guys, Brad here again with another fragrance review. I'm getting ready to go to work and uh, have my final wearing of a fragrance that I've been checking out uh, the past week or so. La Um Sport by Yves Saint Laurent. My little sample here. Uh, this is what the bottle looks like. If you're familiar with La Um, you know that bottle design quite well by now. And this is what the... Uh, little sentence says, the elegance of a new woody freshness, a wave of citrus notes warmed by a sensual ambery siage, an invitation to exaltation, bergamot to cardamom, woody ambery accord. So this one was just released in 2014, classified as a woody aromatic. Top notes are bergamot, aldehydes, and verbena. Middle notes are woody notes and coriander. And in the base, amber and cedar. Base noters, not a lot of reviews on this one, but uh, didn't do very good with them. One positive, one neutral, two negatives. So, um, what are my thoughts on this one? Well, definitely, if you've smelled the original, you do get a lot of the similar characteristics of the original. So, this one does deserve to have the flanker label attached to it. Uh, the major difference between the original and the sporty flanker is the absence of that tonka bean note. Now tonka bean, especially when you used it in Laum, gave it this dense, sexy sweetness with almost like a cinnamon-like spiciness to it, and it was really nice. Uh, wasn't necessarily the most unique smelling fragrance because tonka bean is pretty commonplace in a lot of other fragrances, but uh, that one was very well done for what it was, and it is a big seller for Yves Saint Laurent, and it's no surprise that they're trying to capitalize on that by flankering it out to death. And um, so with this one, basically take out the tonka bean of the original, and you know, you're left with that coriander spiciness, a little bit of the bergamot, and some of the woodsy notes here. So basically what I get in the opening, a lot of the spices come out in the opening. Uh, coriander, and it almost has like a, a peppery vibe to it as well so like a peppery coriander and then when that goes away i pick up on kind of like a vetiver grassy woodsy kind of a smell to it a little bit of bergamot and some of the coriander left over now this one also has aldehydes in it i'm not really sure how uh, much that plays into the fragrance but after wearing it a few times i did kind of pick up on a, a slightly off-putting chemical in here maybe that is the aldehydes and uh, what's interesting is that Yves Saint Laurent also had a fragrance called Gingembre, which very similar to this one. That one had uh, ozone notes in it, and I thought that one was a little bit strange as well because that had a metallic vibe. So those two were pretty similar. So if you liked Gingembre, this is pretty similar, maybe slightly better uh, than that one, but uh, overall nothing too impressive here. If you like sporty fragrances but you don't want something too citrusy, uh, if you like the spices in the woods more than the typical citrus mint combos that are so commonplace in the sporty uh, fragrance world, you might want to try this one. If you like the original, you maybe thought the tonka bean was a little bit much for the hot weather. This might be a little bit easier to pull off in cooler or in hotter weather because uh, it's not as dense, more transparent, and a bit easier to wear, I think, on hotter days. So let me get into some scores. The smell, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. I think I do prefer the smell of the original, but this one's okay. Projection longevity, 5 out of 10. Maybe an hour, hour and a half on this one before it becomes rather close to the skin. Versatility, 6 out of 10. You could probably use this as a signature scent, but uh, you might get frustrated with the performance. Uh, uniqueness, 3 out of 10. So bad that uh, I think you could probably almost argue that Gingembre and Le M Sport are pretty much the same fragrance, very close. Price point, um, two ounces, 44.95, 3.3 ounces, 61.75. So, you know, Yves Saint Laurent fragrances aren't, you know, super cheap, but you know, it's affordable there, six out of 10. Overall, this one gets a five out of 10. Once again, uh, I'm sure a lot of people are disappointed with Yves Saint Laurent, knowing that, that used to have all these uh, amazing fragrances like Ama 7, Opium, Live Jazz, and now everything just seems to be based off of uh, the generic La Homme franchise, and very disappointing. And this one is, is passable, but just barely so. So thanks for watching, I'll talk to you guys later.